Hey what's up, it's Hugo here and today I'm going to give you a quick overview of the brand new Skype for Mac. So Skype got a pretty major update and uh, they pretty much changed the whole application while well, the design at least and they've really changed quite a few things so I thought I'll give you a quick overview here of what's new in Skype. So uh, I know a lot of my uh, viewers are Skype users since I do have a lot of people that I know through YouTube in here. But anyway, um, back to Skype here. Though the brand new thing is that now everything is in one window. So in the previous version, the way you had it is you had a, a window, you had a list view of all your contacts, then you could call those contacts, that would open up in a separate window, or you could chat with them, and that would open up in another window. So you pretty much had three windows, one for chat, one for calling, and one for your contacts, and you could just jump between those. Now they kind of made it more compact. They put everything in one window for you, so chat, calling, and you can all do that. Uh, in one window without jumping around in those. Um, so that's pretty cool. So let me just show you. First off, you have your contacts, obviously, and your address book. So I won't be showing my address book since all my numbers will be in there and stuff like that. So I want uh, I want a little bit of privacy, if you know what I mean. But um, anyway, first off, you have all your Skype contacts. So you have a, a nice little uh, cover flow view, the same as you have in iTunes and as in the and in the Finder as well. Or you can obviously have that in list view. So it's up to you what option you want to choose. List view might be a little easier to find your contacts but you will always have the search bar if you want to search any contacts uh, if you want to just do a quick search so that's always there uh, like in the previous version uh, and the search is pretty uh, fast so it's uh, definitely a good feature as well. So the whole contact thing kind of changed, interface change and stuff like that. Then you have an address book so if you synced all your numbers from your phone with your computer that's going to show up in there and you can call them straight with Skype, if you have obviously you need to have some credit, but uh, it's pretty cheap to uh, call numbers uh, with Skype. So that's it for that. Then uh, in the sidebar here again, you have all the recent chats and calls. So you have the calls that I had today, or the chats that I had today, uh, the ones I had yesterday, uh, the ones that I had this week, and the ones uh, this month. So it will kind of uh, keep track of all your chats, and if you thought, oh yeah, he told me something last week and I need, forgot about it. Well, you can just go back and find out what he said uh, and you can just track back your chats, which can be good or not good, obviously. Next, a uh, few main features they've added to Skype as well is video conference calling. So if you don't know what that is, pretty much you can call with multiple people at the same time. So you could already do that kind of in the previous version, although you'd only had audio chatting and not video. So now you can have video conference call with multiple people and you can all video chat at the same time so that that's looking pretty good it's kind of the same feature as iChat had already quite a while back and uh, they've implemented that now in uh, Skype as well um, if you call someone as well you'll see that you have the call uh, you have the video as well as the chat under the video if you want to and you can add that so it's pretty cool it's, everything is uh, definitely a little bit more compact so that's the main feature they've added the new conference feature uh, where you can just video chat with multiple people. So then a few last uh, thing that changed, uh, they've added this little new thing in, in your menu bar, you can now change your status from your menu bar, so that's pretty cool. Um, they've also added this little uh, floating window you might say, if you click on this little button you can't really notice it but it's still there, it will open up a floating window right here and this will always stay on top of any window you have open so if, you have, if you're using your browser it will always stay on top as you can see and uh, if you have big screens that might be a good idea to just have it hanging there on the side uh, on the side of your screen and you can just see all your online contacts so this little floating window will show all your online contacts so not the offline ones or anything um, so that's a pretty cool extra feature and they've also kind of updated the dial pad which is now floating uh, and not attached to the Skype call and you can just dial for any number or it's easier to dial numbers uh, so that also a little upgrade they have added so overall I think it's a pretty cool thing they've made it a little bit bigger uh, I think it just gets some getting used to or it needs some getting used to at least and uh, overall I think it's a pretty good application eventually and uh, they've definitely made some good improvements um, so yep and obviously you can customize as well um, a bit more if you want it more compact for example you don't want any pictures here compact sidebar you can move this off away like that just have the chat on or like that just have the chat and your contacts at the side 
stuff like that. So you can still kind of make it smaller as you had it in the previous version. Um, so, yep, and I'm sure they will add some extra features in the future final release because this, again, this is still the beta version. So if you want to have this version, you will have to go in uh, on the Skype website. You cannot just check for updates since it's a beta release, so it won't uh, show up as an update. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description or you can just Google Skype Mac Beta. You should probably find it right away. Um, so it's pretty easy to download it. Uh, you do not need any uh, user or privileges or anything. It's just an open beta. Everybody could download it. So go ahead and download that. You just need to replace your current uh, Skype app with that one. You won't lose any contacts or anything, so don't worry about that. And you're ready to start with the brand new Skype. So that's it for a little overview of the Skype, and I hope you liked it. I know a lot of my viewers are Skype users, and uh, this is definitely a great improvement. So thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.